Good morning and welcome to Bayelsa State. This is Bamatu Voice. I am Nice Tari Bala. As we all know, today is the inaugural ceremony of the Executive Governor of Bayelsa State, His Excellency Senator Doye Diri and his Deputy Senator Lawrence Oro Jaffa. Bayelsa State is one of the youngest states to be created in Nigeria. It was created on the 1st of October, 1996, by Sani Abacha. We've had various democratic governors of Bayelsa State, starting from Chief DSP Alami Seya, who passed the baton on to Good Luck Jonathan, the former president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria in the year 2005. Then Good Luck Jonathan also passed the seat of power onto His Excellency, the former governor of Bayelsa State, Chief Timipri Silva. In the year 2012, Chief Henry Seriaki Dixon became the executive governor of Bayelsa State. And then in the year 2020, His Excellency Senator Doye Diri became the executive governor of Bayelsa State, who we all fondly call the miracle governor today. Today is his inauguration ceremony after a stiff battle at the Bayelsa State gubernatorial election in the year 2023. is blooming in the air. When you look around, you see that a lot of Bayelsens and a lot of people have traveled from far and near to come and celebrate with His Excellency and His Deputy today. A lot of people have come out in their different traditional attires to signify their support for Senator Doye Diri and Senator Oru Jako. Viewers from all over the world, sit tight and enjoy the ceremony as it begins. The man, Governor Doye Dri, as you can see, that Bayelsa is jubilating today because of his achievements. One of the key achievements is bringing peace to Bayelsa State. Uh, before he uh, coming onto the majors as the governor of the state, it was like uh, we were going through a war because of the agitations of APC and PDP, and some persons take it so personal that uh, some lives were threatened. But when he came in and assumed the office through a miraculous judgment that was given on the 13th day of February 2020, he put all the issues behind him and started with the reconciliation to ensure that they reconciled by ourselves together to form a unity government. And that brought about peace. My assessment is that the governor did well. He has tried his best, and uh, the best is there to come. That is, my, that is why he's going on the second tenor to do more. And uh, what I notice here is that he's a man down to earth. And uh, what he wants to do, he do it quietly and uh, he has tried his best in the area of roads. I want to proud that uh, the Nimbe Brass Road was, uh, is going on now. It's about 10 km, 11 kilometers and failed. And uh, he has done well in human development and other causes. And uh, he has also turned some area to better living. The only area where I want the governor to touch is area of power. Electricity is our greatest problem and power attracts investment. To a large extent, he has done well in the traditional area and he respects traditional rulers and elders. In the past, we were not invited like this. The Bayelsa State Founding Fathers and the Elders Council, we are just seen as not, not ordinary people. But as I'm talking to you today, the entire Founding Fathers of Bayelsa State, those that are alive, even the elderly people who cannot work well are here. That shows that he's carrying us along, traditionally, natively, modernly, contemporarily. They did well. And that's why the people voted a massive play again. They did well. 
like I said, part of my job is women and children, which we did very well, taking care of women, taking care of children in the States, and social development, that aspect we did very well. The ministry was in charge of empowerment. The governor started with two to percent per ward, a male and a female. We have 105 wards, and we have two to per ward every month. And we were giving them 200, 200,000, those who are doing small businesses. And after that, they increased it to 4 4 per ward. So more than 3,000 plus were empowered. It has never been so before in the state. 200,000 for small businesses. And a lot of them have grown beyond the level they were. Yeah, the past government has been excellent, excellent in terms of the amount of uh, human resources put in to build peace uh, in this part of the country, especially in Bayelsa State, because without that, we can't uh, talk about any form of economic development. And further down the line, uh, we appreciate um, his strides in terms of uh, putting on infrastructures that will reach us out to the blue economy, uh, which is where our wealth is in addition to the oil resources we have. So going forward, I expect him to consolidate on that and continue to build the peace and continue to make not just Bayelsa, the Niger Delta, the best place to live and do business, not just in Nigeria, but in West Africa. We know you to be a builder of all the job people. So continue that so that Bayelsa will be that Jerusalem of a John nation. You know, he was the first organizing secretary of the John National Congress, where he got the tutelage, the training. And with that passion, he has come into governance now. And he sees every job man on the surface of this soil as an job person, as his brother and sister. Okay, and that translates into the projects he is doing. For instance, the International Academy, which Senator Henry Serehi Dixon set up at Kayama, this, I mean, that project is still on. In that school, you find more than 200 non biased just children. Senator Lawrence Ugudapo, Obabariyo, do solemnly swear that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to the Federal Republic of Nigeria and that I will preserve, protect, and defend the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So help me God. And I have confidence and faith that this second tenure will be better. <laughs>
said in that case, we made a solemn promise to pursue a path of love, reconciliation, unity, peace, and security. Because we understand it best. It best serves our quest to ensure prosperity for all my answers. As we embark on this second term journey, let me earnestly assure you that our commitment to the progress and advancement of Bielsa remains the same and steadfast. The second term is, is, a, is a period of consolidation. The first term is succeeded in laying a good foundation, and that was why Bielsa have so appreciated it. The majority of them who appreciated what we did in the first term they elected it. Today, by the grace of God, he has been nominated for another term. So what people expect from him is that he will do better than he had done in his first term. And he has given that assurance already, that commitment already. And I believe that he is a man of his words in areas that he was not able to touch in his first term. He mentioned the area of electricity supply. You know, in Bayesha, there's a challenge. Last December, the governor signed into law, the Bayesha State Electricity Law. That law makes it, makes it possible for the state to be able to generate the same electricity and be able to distribute. So, we are expecting that that will come into full effect within the, maybe within this first year of the second term. We also talked about the issue of water registration in the state capital. The government has, in the last four years, tried to provide water in some communities in the state and in some local governments. But the governor feels that wasn't good enough. He has promised that in Yenagoa, the state capital, we will ensure that water flows in homes in the state capital. So we expect more from you. Thank you all for being a part of today's historic event. We all witnessed the inaugural ceremony of His Excellency Senator Doye Diri and his Deputy Senator Lawrence Oru Jacko. It came with a lot of promises of good tidings and prosperity to the good people of Bayelsa State. Remember to keep in touch with us by our Matu Voice on our various social media platforms on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and TikTok. We are Baramatu Voice. I remain your host, Nice Tari Volume.